Guys, welcome back. It's great to be around. It's Thursday. Thursday, yep, Thursday. Thursday October 20th. October 20th. I hope yep. you guys are having a great day today. Yep. It's Coffee <laughs> House Man. It's time to strive for what? It's time to get energized. What's, What's going, going on, everybody? Guys, <laughs> you guys, if you're at home, try to give it a time like yep, this. That, it's really like yeah, it, energetic. It a lot of energy it through does. Yeah. Just, just do this. Yeah. yeah. Just saying, if you guys want to get some energy, just yep, do, do it, that. Do yeah. it clankety clang. Uh, what do we got today? What are we talking about? Well, um, turns out we have a lot of stuff going on with Cardi B. Cardi B? Wait. Uh, really? Yeah. What? He says that's his famous artist. Okay. Well, you yeah. like her, huh? Yeah, right. you like well, her. She's Kevin in trouble been... today. Yeah, so we'll find out. Um, we'll find out what she's doing. Also, um, uh, we're going to see what fentanyl pills, candy, and the airport have in common. Fentanyl pills, candy, candy and the airport... Oh, oh and, I don't know. Something yeah. bad's gonna happen with that. And also, we have some very stinky business going on in, in New Zealand. Stinky Stink business? Yep, yeah, very stinky. We'll find out. All right, yeah. all right, all right. Let's get it started. Yeah. What do we got? What's all the right. big one? Something about, about Google, I read. All right. right. So, um, turns out that Texas is now suing Google for breach of biometric data consentment. Texas is suing Google? Yes. Because biometric data? Yes. So uh, apparently, wait, wait, somebody's watching you. I'm just letting you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it turns out Google, yeah, those of you who thought that we were being looked at and spied on, and, well, and, and you Googled, were, you were right, you're right, you were right, very correct. <laughs> so it turns out that Google has now been keeping um, and storing biometric data such as facial recognition and, and voice searches in their storage units. Oh, yes. <laughs> Bi and biometric data. Okay, those of you, oh, if oh. you don't, if, wait, 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 wait. But, um, if you don't know what that is, that's that, this. Yes, like face re recognition facial and voice searches that you do, like uh, whatever you say. They're recording it and they're yeah. storing it. So they're they're recording your uh, the tone of your voice. Yeah. So yes. yeah, and Texas is now suing Google because of that fact because they're not getting permission from people. Wait, wait. Yes. What? 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 Godzi? God. He's gone. He's he like, says, they're not going to get, get me. me. I'm outies. I'm, a, I'm in the ocean. I'm out of here. I'm outies 5,000. Yep. You know what, bud? I think they got oh, you. Oh, that's... Yeah. Just letting you know. Even... Yeah. <laughs> the goat, too. Even the goat's like... <laughs> Every, everyone is like, like... What about me? Freaking the heck uh, out. All right, all right. Yeah. What else do we got? That's it. Well, that's um, it. it turns out in New Zealand, uh, that New Zealand is actually going to be taxing cow burps and farts. What? Yes. They're what? actually going to be doing that. Yes. And Wait, what? Uh, Wait, what? Wait, that, what? Oh, uh, so they're going to tax the farties. Yes. And the burpees. Yeah. And farmers are actually saying that, hey, man, that's not fair. Yeah, so farmers are, are, yeah. are all up in roar so, because so they're, uh, yeah. they're, they're, <laughs> they're, they're like, what is this? They're like, what's the matter with you, bro? You can't what you do it. You can't tax the yeah. farts and the burps so, and the burps, but they're yeah, doing it. They're doing it, still doing it. I That's don't what they're doing, know. guys. I, yeah, um, yeah, and uh, these those farmers of you are, who said that there's not a commodity in your burpees and the farts, then you know, turns what? out there is. There is, all right. As right. that is, yes. So, uh, yeah, it turns out that those farmers are actually going to go into major cities and protest. Yes, and, they are. Yes, and they're actually bringing their tractors into the major cities to block off traffic. They're going to start driving in and, yep, that, yep, that's what they're doing. They're on their way in, we're going in to block traffic, they're going on to major cities and letting everybody mm -hmm. know, guys. Yeah. Don't mess with the farties and the burpees. All Just right. saying. All right, what do we got? Well, um, turns out that um, Amazon is now going to be going after um, a lot of different companies in Italy and Spain because those companies are actually um, hiring people to leave good five-star reviews that are actually fake on Amazon products. What? Yeah. So, wait a minute. Let, let me get this straight. Amazon is going after... People who are leaving reviews. Yes. Five-star positive reviews on products that are not actually good. That are not worthy of, of that five-star review. Holy yes. smackadoodles. Yes. Holy they're actually good. So they're saying, you know what? If they're bad, yes. let's keep it good. Uh, yes, let's not actually good so yeah. there's bad reviews that are bad. going i mean wait good reviews for bad products uh, yes good reviews ding, 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 bad. i get it I get yes it, I get it. and um amazon has actually named names 
They're actually saying, we know exactly who you are and we're going to go after you. They're dropping company yes. names? Yes. Oh, just, this ain't uh, going to be good. I can't wait you to know see what? what happens. See, that's why I don't, you know, for uh, yeah. re reviews, I've seen this a lot on eBay. I'm telling you, I've seen this a lot on eBay that... Uh, people have contacted us and said, hey, can you change your review? We'll send you some free stuff. And I'm like, wait. And that's why I'm like, you yes. don't want to hear bad stuff. Yes, no, no, no one wants to hear it. You don't want to hear that bad review that says, oh, it's just a little critique. No, you I'm, don't want to. <laughs> I'm saying it's, they should go after movie movie reviewers. All you movie oh, reviewers are like, like saying, saying thumbs oh, down. Oh, that's horrible because it's you know not what? emotionally. I don't yeah. know what movies you're, sometimes they're, I like them, but here you're, you're, Possibly taking away the ability to uh, have a movie make any kind of money. Right, Ugh, yes. You know? and, and again, that's your entertainment, so I don't get it. Yeah, yeah. you're messing with your entertainment. Uh, what? Why? Wait. Yes, he's saying the same thing. He's saying, leave my leave my movies alone. All right. All right. What okay. else do we got? Well, um, turns out that a man is suing Cardi B because of the fact that um, some of her people took pictures of his tattoos on his back right, without I, his permission I telling them that... That those tattoos are going to be put on one of her recent mixtapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he's now suing Cardi B because of that. Yeah, yeah. I heard that um, Cardi B was asking, "Can we take pictures of your tattoos in the back?" He was exactly. like, "Sure, why not?" Yeah. Turned out that he, that she used it on one, one of, of her, her albums. Yes. One of her oh. mixtapes, and he didn't know that that's what she was gonna do. So now, and so now he's suing he's her. Like, hey, hey, hey! Remember, I want some of. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I need to get my monies. You Gotta know what? My now, money. here's the thing, though. I'm wondering if the tattoo artist can sue him and her right. for using That's a good point. his art on someone's body. Right, you can. Yes, if the tattoo it's... artist finds out, you might get a double whammy on that yes. one. Uh, because, mm. again, it's the tattoo artist's work. So, Ladies you know. and gentlemen, another example yes. of copyright infringement. Yeah. So here and we are in the today's login of copyright infringement. infringement. We will find oh, out. Oh, yeah. jeepers. It turns out that he's actually going to uh, sue for over $5 million. You know what? He's not going to get the five mil, but he'll but, probably walk away with a mil. Yeah, around that. To me, that's, that's you know that's what? A fair no, amount, ready, but... ready, ready, ready? That's what I said. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'll take it. What mm -hmm. else? What else? Well, um, turns out that in um, Los Angeles, um, a man was actually caught smuggling over 12,000 fentanyl pills inside candy boxes. No way! But look, it gets better. When he was caught, he actually didn't say anything. And and even when he was took to trial, when when they asked him if he wanted to plead guilty or not guilty, he didn't say anything. I heard so, about this! So guess what? Look, look, look. Wait, wait, wait. Back up, back up. This guy... Is is bringing in fentanyl? Yes. If you guys fentanyl don't know pills. what that is, that is a, a very addictive product. Let's just it's, leave it at that. Yeah, yeah, that's he very good he, he brought it in in bags of candy. Yes, they were sealed Skittles, Skittle M poppers, pop poppers. Yeah, and you know the reason that they invent, they opened them up because they they shook them and they yes. didn't sound right. And they're like, wait a minute, they sound like there's more. Something's here. wrong. Yes, yes. So, they're these little as pills. Tiny ones. So they you ended can up smuggle a, a lot. Right. They ripped up one bag and another and another. And they just and there's kept coming. Thousands. Yes, thousands. Possibly over twelve thousand. That's yes. just that's just wackadoodle. So what did they do? They well, said, let's take him in. Yeah. Now, the catch, like he said. Yes, he's not saying anything. He ain't talking. So he's not pleading guilty or not guilty. So the judge is like, okay, well, I don't know what I can do because if I plead him guilty, then that's like I'm taking away his right. <laughs> like, I'm taking away his He don't want to say constitutional anything. right. Even with his lawyer uh, there. Yes. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. They'll eventually figure out how to, how to, how to, how to uh, uh, sentence how to, him. Yes. Uh, but, again, but right now it there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on it's with just, that. Oh my god! It's uh, it's pretty it's cool. Nuts. Just letting you know. All right, uh, let's keep it going. All right, well we have a wacky world record. Wacky to doodle, wacky to doodle. Let's get a quack world. All right. Record. So, all right. So it turns out that um, two people have actually achieved the longest ever bumper card marathon record for over 28 hours. Bumper yes. card record? So yes. That's so, pretty cool. So it uh, turns out that Man that Man Manuelas Venus and Man Manuelas Venus and Jan Specker have actually Venus. Yes, 
They they actually achieved. The Where have you been? This <laughs> yeah. Where All my been life is. <laughs> yeah. So they actually ahead. achieved the longest ever bumper car record for over twenty eight hours oh, straight geez. of bumper car. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah. ah. Why? I, you know, I would sign up for some crap like that. Just, just yeah. Why up. not? And how many? Over twenty eight hours. That's two days. Yes. <sighs> almost, uh, almost. Almost two days. Almost two days. Yes. Of That's... sitting around <laughs> on your bumper car. <laughs> Doing your business and not eating, right? Because yes. you're not no, eating. No, you're, you're not eating. You're just playing bumper cars. Get them. Get them. All, right, all right, all right. What else do we got? All right. Well, we have a lucky find. Uh oh. Lucky find. Lucky yeah. find. So this, Technical difficulties on this one yep. because this is this a good is big, one. Let's get big. it. Let's Turn, get it. Turns out that in 1989, a man went to his local flea market to buy a painting and he took it home and he decided that he didn't like uh, the painting but he liked the frame. All right. So, all he, right. so he took out the painting. He said, ready? Yeah, Wrong. he's like, wait, no, I he's like, like it. wait, you ready? Wrong. Yeah. So, all right, all right. so he took out the painting, and then he found it a neatly folded little piece of paper. And when Ooh. he opened it, it turns out that that paper was a was a copy of the Declaration of Independence. Oh. And, and look, it gets better. He thought that it was like a more recent copy, like like one from the 1900s. So two years passed, and in 1991, he took it back out, took it to um his his local auction house, and guess what? They found out that that was the real. A real copy of the Declaration of Independence. No way! And look, it gets better. Look, look, look. It, it gets better because of the fact that there was only 24 copies made, and all those 24 copies made in 1776, they're all bad, mint condition. Like they're not in good condition. Right. They but were this horrible. one, it was in mint, mint condition. Ah, oh, jeez. Like in almost perfect condition. And guess what? What so happened now? Because of the fact that it was um, concealed in that painting for almost two centuries, it was right. in perfect condition. Right. And, and guess what? It sold for $2.4 million. Look at that, lady. That's gentlemen. nuts. <laughs> know what you have yes. in your pockets before you send it in. Yeah, and make because sure you know what you got. Jeepers. Uh, that can be awesome, but it yeah. can be bad. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, another factor. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Another what? lucky find. Another lucky find. Yep, Let me tell you, big you know time. What? A lot of those lucky finds are are are. are this just mm. you don't know that when mm. you're gonna find them. Just happens. Yeah, mm. lucky mm. you. All right. Well, we got um National Day today. National Day today. What do we got? Well, it's National Brandy Fruit today. Branded what? Branded. So brandy fruit is actually kind of like a it, it's a special word for dried up fruit. Yes. So it's dried up fruit. He so knows what it is. You know what that is, so, buddy? Yeah. Oh, you, you know? know? Yeah. Yeah. You know what it is? Is it good? Yeah, is yeah. it good? All right. I, I, I don't yeah. need that stuff. What? Yeah. What? So, okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. I get it. Yeah. You and the you like it. You like it. You guys like it, but All right. I have none. Yeah. We're not. What else do we got? Well, um, we have joke of the day. All right. Let's see. Let's Who's see. here? Oh, here it comes. Right what do you want? What? You hey. dropping off the joke? All right. Tell All right. you what. Be on your way. Yeah. And Go out yeah. to... Isn't there something going on in uh, Florida? Uh, with, Florida? With, with, with the update with the bins? With the, uh, no, where is oh it? yes, actually it is. There, there is actually an update going on in Arizona. For Arizona. For, uh, see, he just came. He told us. That. Yeah. So, so you. it turns right. out that um in in Arizona um the shipping containers that have actually been placed around the border of Arizona between Mexico and Arizona. Right. Turns out that the Biden administration has told Arizona to take the shipping containers down, and Arizona has declined to do it. No way. Yes, they said that they don't want to do it. They're like, no, we don't. They said. Mm -mm. No, mm -mm. no, we're nah, nah, nah. nah. Sorry. So we're... what happens now? Well, um, the they're fight's still going to, yeah, on. Yeah, they're gonna have to go to court. Right? Yeah, they're gonna have to go to court and fight it with 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 the Biden administration. He, he, ah, he, 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 can't wait he, to see what happens. That's pretty that's... cool. Uh, bring it. You're welcome. Yeah, there you, you go. Know, figure out a solution. Today, tomorrow. Yeah, figure it out. All right. All right. It's, 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 now, finally, the joke of the day. Joke of the day. Let's bring it. All right. So, what is the heaviest bird in the world? What is it? What is the heaviest bird? Okay. Do you know the answer? He's telling you. I, I know okay, the answer. So, okay. So, heaviest bird in the world is actually the crane. Get, Get it? it? Because the crane, it, like, it's heavy? It, it's the crane that goes... <laughs> and also the bird crane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, as always... Check us out. We got a joke that for the woke of, and you might sit down and have a smoke. As always, thank you very much for coming. We'll see you guys soon. Take